force of gravitation. Good morning. Have you read today's newspaper? Yes, yes, read. Yes, yes. Did you know an aeroplane is crashed to earth? Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, why the aeroplane fall to the earth when the engine fails? If all objects in the universe attract one another, why the earth not fall to the aeroplane? Before discussing your questions, we should discuss some of the points ripe mangoes from a tree a stone hurled into the air rain drops all fall to the earth have you noticed not only these but any object whose path is not hindered falls to earth Have you ever thought about the reason behind this? Let us do one experiment. Here, a metal ball is suspended on a thread attached to a spring. You can see the metal ball moves down a little and then stops. And the spring extends downwards. The extended spring exerts an upward force on the ball. But why the ball is not going upward? Because the metal ball exerts downwards a force equal to that which is applied by the spring. This force is due to the gravitational force between the earth and the ball. Now when the thread is broken the ball falls down to the earth and spring retains its original position this is because of the gravitational force on the ball so the earth attracts all things towards its center this is called gravity but if the object is supported by something it does not fall down so the force of gravity is depends on certain factors let us find this hang two balls of same size on a spring balance one made of wood and the other made of metal you can see the metal ball weigh more now take a wooden ball of double the radius You can see the wooden ball weighs more than the previous ball. So what conclusion did you reach? The force of gravity experienced by a body is directly proportional to its mass. But according to the Newton's third law of motion, the body should attract the earth with an equal force and opposite to the force of gravity on the body. Newton's universal law of gravitation. The law states that all objects in the universe attract one another. The force of gravitation between two objects is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. let there are two objects of masses capital m and small m at a distance of d from each other if we take the force of gravitation as f then f is proportional to capital m into small m and 
F is proportional to 1 by D squared. Then, F equals G into capital M into small m divided by D squared, where G is a universal constant. This is called gravitational constant. What is the value of G? In the year 1789, Henry Cavendish determined the value of G experimentally. He found that G equals 6.75 into 10 raised to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. At present, the value of G has been more accurately calculated to be 6.67 into 10 raised to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Let us try to solve this problem. Two persons of mass 60 kg and 50 kg stands at a distance of 0.5 meter from each other. What will be the force of gravitation between them? F equals G into capital M into small m divided by D squared. G equals 6.67 into 10 raised to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Capital M equals 60 kilogram. Small m equals 50 kilogram. D equals 0.5 meter. F equals 6.67 into 10 raised to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared into 60 kilogram into 50 kilogram divided by 0.5 squared meter squared equals 8004 into 10 raised to minus 10 Newton. This force is negligible to attract two persons each other. Now we will come back about the falling of aeroplane to the earth and why is not happening to the other way. Consider the radius of the earth to be r. An aeroplane of mass m is flying at height h. What is the force with which the plane attracts the earth. The earth attracts the plane with a force F equals G into M into M divided by R plus H the whole square. Is it enough force that the earth falls on the aeroplane? The earth's attraction is much more than the force attracted by the plane. That is why the aeroplane falls. Let us examine the acceleration of the plane and the earth. The acceleration of the earth is F divided by capital M equals G into capital M into small m divided by R plus H the all squared into 1 by capital M equals G into small m divided by R plus H the all squared. Now the acceleration of the plane is F divided by small m equals G into capital M into small m divided by R plus H the all squared into 1 by small m equals G into capital M divided by R plus H the all squared. From this, which has greater acceleration, the earth or the aeroplane? Aeroplane. So the aeroplane falls to the earth when the engine fails. No earth falls to the aeroplane.